Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, major distortion from your photos. Um, this is a technique that is used a lot, especially with like architectural and real estate photographers. Um, if you're really having issues with distortion, much like you see in this example here, where the verticals are off, you can see it's kind of got that wide angle uh, distortion that you would typically get with many wide angle lenses. Uh, you can definitely remove this very quickly and very easily with the adaptive wide angle uh, filter in Photoshop. So uh, before we hop into that, there's other ways that you could technically do this. Um, one of the ways is to, I'm just going to unlock this here and make a duplicate of it. Uh, one of the things you could do is set guides uh, in, in uh, Photoshop. So what we're going to do is click the command R key and that's going to give us guides up here. Uh, so you can pull a guide. Let's say we want to pull a vertical guide. We can click and drag over and we get a guide here. So if we want this line here of this mirror to be straight, uh, now we know that this is a perfectly straight line and we can distort the image to make it straight. Uh, and then we can kind of go over here and say this line needs to be straight again. You can see how far off that is. Um, so we can distort it and free do a kind of free transform. So command or control T and then we can right click distort kind of go in and here and start manually moving these over um, that kind of stuff you can you can do that kind of thing uh, and it takes a it takes a lot of time to do it but you can really get precise distortion removal out of this technique but what we're gonna do is do it a little bit differently I'm gonna just delete this we don't need that anymore bring this one back uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get another duplicate so we can see before and after and uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove these guides. So I'm just going to click clear guides, take those away. Now what we're going to do is go to filter and then go to adaptive wide angle filter. So here it's going to bring up a uh, different dialog box here. And the main things we need to concentrate on in this uh, box here is the uh, correction here. And then uh, some of the stuff here we might mess with, but mainly we're just going to use the correction technique. Most of the time you can get away with perspective correction. Now you can see it changes that up. It actually does a little bit of a straightening job uh, just on some of the, uh, the more standout items. So this is a little bit more straighter here. Uh, we still have to work on some of this stuff over here. So now what we need to do is remove the distortion and you have to do this uh, manually, but it, the, the image helps you out. So let's start over here on the left. Uh, we have our little cursor and you can see over here we have the uh, detail box. This is just a zoomed in uh, kind of loop view. Uh, I want this line to be straight here. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to drag and you can see it has a line here and you can see it kind of curves with that line. So it knows that this needs to be straight. So uh, to make it a perfectly straight line we have a blue line. But what we want to do is actually hold the shift key. When we do that, it turns to a pink line. This means it's going to be a perfectly up and down line. So we'll click on that while holding shift and boom, the image is going to kind of auto correct. And now this line that we drew is perfectly straight. So now let's go over here to the window. We're going to get this one to do the same exact thing. Draw a line. We have a blue line. We're going to go ahead and click uh, shift, hold shift, and we're going to click and let go. And this is going to change the image over again. So now this is a perfectly straight line. We're going to do all the same to all the verticals in the image. So I'm basically just clicking all the points that need to be perfectly straight up and down. And you can see the image kind of contorting, doing a little bit of moving. Um, I'm going to go over here to the couch. This one's a little bit tricky. I have to kind of follow the seam of the couch. So I'm going to go over here, do the same thing. This is going to change it a pretty good amount. So right there, and obviously uh, this is kind of uh, in, uh, graphically intensive. So if, if your computer's taking a long time to do some of this stuff, um, it's going to take a little bit longer. But uh, the 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 image is going to come out great, being uh, with all the distortion removed. So there we go. That's for the most part right now. That's that's pretty good on the verticals. Now what we're going to do is concentrate on the horizontal lines. We don't have many in this image that we want to correct, but uh, you can see this table is kind of bowing out a little bit. What we're going to do is draw that line over here. Now, if we were to make this a perfectly straight line, it's not going to work. So I'm going to keep it a blue line. That means it's just going to straighten out that bend. So you see it's just going to pop out a little bit. And now this is a perfectly straight line here. And we're basically going to do the same all the way around to all the all the areas of the photo that need to be perfectly straight. This is another one. Basically, the um, more areas that you do this technique to, 
the better your result is going to be. But it is obviously taking more time to do this. So uh, keep going around here. We're almost finished with this particular image. Uh, let's not forget the ceiling as well. We'll go ahead and draw a line here just to match some of the structural changes in the ceiling. Um, let's do that one. Go to the window here. Right there is good. You can see it kind of changes a pretty good amount when you start clicking on the window. Same thing here. All right, so for the most part, we're looking good here. I think we're just gonna call it quits, but you can see we have a, a couple different uh, challenges here. Here we have, uh, it's warped the image so much that we don't have any section of the floor. So we have a couple of ways to change that. We can actually content aware it to get it back there. Uh, another section over here is missing as well. Any, anywhere you see the check bo checkered boxes, that means there's no data there. Uh, we can take this scale here. We can scale it up to help remove that just like that and it's gone but you will lose a little bit of the image for this image it really doesn't matter so I'm actually going to keep it like that so uh, that's pretty much it uh, we've removed much of the distortion we can come back in here and do a little bit more but we've removed the distortion so let's click OK alright so you see we're still missing a little bit of the floor here uh, what I'm gonna do is just try content aware to try to fill it in so I'm gonna get my magic wand here I'm gonna go down to the bottom click on that area and I'm going to go to edit fill and then choose the contents to be content aware right there and then click OK and there we go it's filled in the floor pretty good uh, so that's a really great great way of doing that alright so that is our final output you can see a lot of the distortion is removed so if you want to see the before and after uh, this is what we started out with you can see it's really distorted really got that wide angle f feel to it you can tell that just nothing is straight in this image and then we popped it into this one and it looks much, much better, uh, much more natural to the eye. So if you want to check that out again, you have to go up to filter and then go to adaptive wide angle filter. This works on a lot of variety of images. You know, it really works on interior images, but you can also do it for exterior buildings as well. Maybe if you're uh, pointed up at a building or pointed up at a structure and you want to correct that perspective, that's a great way of doing it as well. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.